So when uh, you were sort of approached and they said, would you like to be in The Mummy? And I'm assuming you said, who would I be playing? And they said, The Mummy. That must have been quite a tempting proposition. It must have been quite an easy choice for you. Is that a tricky question? <laughs> because I said no. Oh, you said no? Yeah. Uh. Oh, I thought you knew maybe. No. <laughs> uh, yeah, I did say no. You know, I was afraid to play a monster, weirdly enough. Uh, and uh, no, I was afraid to play a monster that's just walking around scaring people for no depth of reasons. And because in the original, which I'm a massive fan of, which I loved growing up watching, um, <clears throat> and which I love is that you can see the layers in which Boris Karloff made the character uh, relevant to the story and the circumstances. And we don't exactly know what his story is, but it's felt and it's done in such finesse that I, I admire. And when I, when I, at first I thought, no, I'm being asked to play this role just to be the monster for no specific reasons. And then I said that to Alex and then, I mean, to my representation and then Alex came back to them saying, I still want to meet. And then we sat down and we talked and he just shared with me his, his also his, his passion for the originals and his, uh, his wants and his needs to, to give them an homage basically, and then we talked about, you know, uh, that we made sure that we were on the same page in which we were, which, uh, so then after I thought, well, I feel now great pressure that I get to play this role now 80 years, over 80 years after mm -hmm. Boris Karloff's one, and he made that character iconic, and the movie is iconic, and I think uh, I, we all wanted to give that an, a proper respect. Because it must have been quite a challenge, though, because it is a character steeped in cinematic tradition. To then be unique and kind of original with the character, but at the same time still have the kind of flavour of the character that we do already know and love. Yeah, because you know what we have to, to, to remember is that the, the, the character has a reason for why she does what she does, but also uh, what I like to, uh, how I like to look at it at least is that uh, b behind all those monsters, uh, all the Lemony films, there is some sort of interesting metaphor that it translates for, for, for us to be able, an audience to be able to relate to. And that's what I wanted to make sure for Amanet is that, you know, even if you didn't, were not sure what her story was, that it could read, you know, that something was happening that was far more profound than what meets the eyes. And I mean, because I was reading that you've always been quite a keen kind of dancer, and this is a very physical performance. Did you actually rely on kind of old techniques from dancing to kind of help choreograph this character? Because the way she moves is almost like a kind of ballet at times. Oh, uh, well, thank you. <laughs> I'm glad you noticed. It's just, um, I wanted to find her, her posture, her body posture, because I think, yes, um, um, you, 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 your, your physical uh, appearance and the way you, uh, as far as how you move, how you sit, tells your story itself. And I wanted to find her identity within that. And because even though she never became a pharaoh, she very much carries herself as, as one. And even more so after she's being deceived. And I wanted to find that space and that rhythm, and I wanted to find that that sort of power and strength. And uh, maybe having been a dancer helped me to just they capture that um, and and feel comfortable within my body to just and, and body that um, that uh, yeah. So I mean, this does seem to be kickstarting this Universal <coughs> Monsters universe. Is yeah. it? I mean, is this a character you'd like to potentially kind of play again one day? I would love that. I love I love the character. I love Amanette, and um, yeah, it'd be an honor to come back. Absolutely. Well, thanks so much for your time Thank today. You. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!